Sperm Foundations Romania is a nonprofit association that assists and supports disadvantaged children and families in Brasov, Romania. We were asked to sing uh, Christmas carols back in 2004 uh, for the children here at the Brasov Children's Hospital. There were numerous rooms filled with babies without their parents, uh, wrapped in several layers of rags. Um, it was hot, smelled, there was paint chipping off from the walls. It was, it was really a, a terrible atmosphere. And uh, we saw the need, and God told us to um, fix it. The purpose of the project is to assist the doctors and nurses with the abandoned children left here in the hospital. Last year, we provided over 7,000 volunteer hours here at the hospital. With the help of volunteers, we're able to love, feed, and change the babies on a daily basis. We're going to go past the diapers now. Since the project began, we have been able to give out over 50,000 diapers a year for the babies left in the hospital. So the hospital project started off with one diaper back in 2005. And if God can fulfill his plans by using a donkey, then this time he used diapers. The mom's project uh, is basically um, just focused on the moms when they're hospitalized with their often very young children. The idea came to um, just find something for them, not just to do, but also to fellowship together, to inform them. We do a craft with them. We always talk about a topic, such as breastfeeding or baby blues. We had to educate them even on washing the babies, that it was okay. Even just this basic information, nobody's giving it out. Many times we also go uh, and do what we call the baby closet. We go around each of the, the floors and we visit with all the mothers mm -hmm. and if they need any extra clothes for their child, we give them each a, an outfit of clothes. We have leaflets to hand out with encouragements for mothers on it. We also give out soap and toothpaste and toothbrushes, mm -hmm. things that the mothers might need for their stay. Just have a visit from someone who's friendly to them. When we work with the babies in the hospital, we, in the beginning, we help bring the babies back home to the families. So through uh, working with the families, we noticed a lot of children that just don't, don't do anything. They just sit on the streets and play in the dirt. And we decided that it would be wonderful to offer them a little kids club. So we have right now 11 children, but we want to expand to the two groups that in my vision meets once a day. They get Bible stories, they um, learn songs, they learn yeah, everything educational that they would need and the children love it and the children come with joy. I love this project and I love those people in Udila and I just, yeah, just pray for them. Our teenagers come from uh, villages outside of Brasov. They come from very poor families. They live in uh, poor homes and sometimes they don't have uh, clothes to wear and food to eat. And what happens to many of the teenagers is getting married after they graduate the eighth grade. We want to provide for them an opportunity to go to high school and even university. And many of our teenagers are dreaming about that. Also, we are doing fun activities like going up the mountains, visiting castles, museums, things many of them, or if not all of them, have never done in their lives. And my favorite part is the Bible study, and I think they love it too, because they, they come to know who they are through Christ's eyes, because people see them in a different way, but the most important thing is how God sees them and that they know it. The purpose of the soccer program in Budila is uh, just to uh, help the kids have an opportunity to be involved with sports. We also use it as an opportunity to teach them about respect for themselves, for others, in the team environment. We also look for kids with uh, more leadership qualities and kind of try to grow that and nurture that. Play an organized game, follow the rules, which um, might sound like it's just all about sports, but actually helps build character helps build patience and, and 
leaning on each other and working together with others. To get out there and play with them and run around and, and just get out there and have some fun with them. This is the, the second house we built as part of the Fun Foundation building project. This family um, has 11 children now. Uh, the father had built them a house 10, 12 years ago. The house is a fairly simple construction. It's a stick frame construction uh, clad with wood on the exterior, fiberglass insulation, and then drywall interior. It's important for the families to have dry houses because wet conditions are not conductive to healthy upbringing of their children, which is one of the reasons why a lot of the children end up in the hospital again and again. We are always in need of short and long-term volunteers, men and women, to help in the hospital and with the building project. We're looking for people who are dedicated and wanting to make a difference in Romania. If you're interested in volunteering or if you want to help in any other way, please visit our website or contact us through email.